I guess so today's video I am barefaced because I wanted to give some quick rundown reviews of some products I've been trying in the last couple of months I just figured it'd be best to show you how they apply or how they're good and how they're bad so that's why I'm completely barefaced because I have a lot of products to go through so let's go first thing is eyeshadow palettes I got the Natasha Denona glam palette because I've been eyeing this for a while and anyone who knows me knows I adore cool tones this was just really calling my name so I'm gonna use a mixture of this one and this beauty pie now this is I'm not even kidding must be a dupe of some sort of Charlotte Tilbury palette the quality is insanely good um, I should think so considering this is still quite expensive for a little quad I'm gonna start with putting this shade in my crease if you want just like an everyday little quad this is really good but if you want something a bit more large and in charge <laughs> How old am I? Uh, if you want something a little bit larger, then I would 100% go with the Natasha Denona one. And then I'm gonna grab the transition shade, this grey one, just to sort of cool it down a little bit. This is actually one of the more affordable of Natasha Denona's palettes. And then I'm gonna grab a smaller brush. And I'm gonna grab the crease shade. I'm gonna pop that on the outer corner. They blend really, really nicely. We've got a good amount of pigment. Shimmers are really pretty. The shimmer in that beauty pie is actually incredibly stunning. I'm just pulling a tiny bit of that through my crease. What should I put on my lid today? Oh, actually, no, I wasn't gonna put that on my lid today. I forgot. I wanted to use a Steeler shadow. I bought a bunch of Steelers recently. I went on the Steeler website just because I've been thinking about this smoldering satin shade, which is a cool tone shade, which I'm gonna use today. Uh, for ages. I couldn't find it anywhere so I decided I'm just gonna go to Steeler's own website and they had a bunch of stuff affordable so I also got this incredible absolutely stunning I'm not gonna wear this today because it's green and it kind of doesn't go with what I'm going for but like it's a greeny gold look at that shade it's so pretty this is La Duce La Duce and then I got this like double which was on sale and it's a like white glitter actually kind of do it chrome and then it's just a white shade all together I haven't really used these but I needed a white for an eyeliner look the other day and I couldn't find one so I figured that would actually be a really good option uh, but you have to be careful with these don't do what I do and bought a bunch all together because they do dry out after maybe like two years so I mean after that sort of time you probably should throw them away let's be honest but yeah so I'm gonna use smoldering satin on my lid because it's like a more everyday cool tone show. See Casper in the background. He's super attention seeking today. I, and don't get me wrong, I've been playing with him a bunch. He's just in that kind of mood. Here's a really, really gorgeous shade. Because it's kind of like an everyday glitter. I remember actually wearing Steeler. I think it was the bronze bell shade because I think it's the only shade I had at the time and I wore that to work and someone said to me like oh my god I love what's on your eyes and I was just like that's the biggest compliment anyone's ever given me okay so before I go with foundation I also bought a shitload of stuff from Beauty Pie which is a new brand that I'd been getting so many Instagram sponsored posts about so I tried a bunch of their stuff this is the Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oil um, and it's in Nude Nectar and I've been using it just to sort of moisturise my lips it's a nice nude shade it's all like throwing over a lip liner as well really comfortable I got a primer a foundation and a concealer from TK Maxx and I'll be honest I don't know if I love this primer or not but I definitely love it with the foundation so I just continue to use them in conjunction with each other so this is the Huda Beauty matte perfection pre makeup base and I'll be honest I thought this would be more mattifying and like kind of keep my oils at bay it felt and it looks like wet and wild matte primer and I thought oh okay it's gonna be one of those ones that kind of feels moisturizing to start off with and then it like really mattes down and dries you out but honestly it might be because this is kind of old and this is like excess stock or something I don't know but I can't tell a difference but honestly it does so well with the, the foundation I don't care I felt like my pores and everything has just really looked great with this primer under less foundation so like I say I just keep it all together a foundation I hate well, I don't hate, I just, I really can't get on with. And this has been exactly the same problem I had with uh, the NARS Soft Matte. So if you like the NARS Soft Matte, you probably will really enjoy this. If you don't like NARS Soft Matte, stay the fuck away from this. I don't know if it's the, how light I got the shade. I got Alabaster because I will say with NARS Foundation, similar thing, I struggle to get my exact shade. I tend to have to go slightly too light because if I go too deep, 
it's like too too obvious i can't get on with this foundation it separates it looks like foundation on my skin whereas the next one even though it's very full coverage it really doesn't look like foundation it looks like i have perfect skin it's so so pretty the one i actually love and what i'm gonna put on today is a burberry foundation never thought i'd buy a burberry product again got this off tk maxx but this has become a new absolute holy grail this is in light cool it has like the proper burberry <laughs> Uh, thing here. It has like a little lockable, so no, even though it's in a glass bottle, which again, this is just so fucking stunning. I wore this Christmas day, I think it was New Year's Eve as well, that I wore this, but basically I was jumping around playing Wii with my mum, I was getting sweaty and everything, and it still looked like my foundation was only a couple of hours old when it was a good 10 to 12 hours old. Let's just dot this. Such a good colour for me as well. Like genuinely, it's such a good colour. I never feel like I have to use too much. There are some foundations that are full coverage and I still feel like I have to put so much on just to actually cover my skin. So even just with, that was like two and a half pumps. My skin looks so smooth. So pretty. I love this foundation, I really do. So good. This is a new elf sponge, by the way, that I'm trying. It's really, really soft. The next thing is a new holy grail is Again, I got this from TK Maxx. I did not buy this full price. And now that I know how expensive it is, I'm tempted to buy like a shitload of backups because the By Terry Anti-Wrinkle Dark Circle Eye Bag Serum Corrector, this is in Fair. This is one of the only concealers that truly does not accentuate my fine lines. And I think it's because it's got that serum consistency. It doesn't come off heavy. So I can put on a little bit more than I normally would and it just, it makes my under eyes look so nice. If you're so lightweight, brightening, corrector, serum in it, oh, it's so pretty. Now, normally I would not say go out and get a friggin, I think it's like 40 quid full price. I got it for I think about 16, which is cheaper than like Tarte Shape Tape, so. But I genuinely, when I run out, would buy another one. As someone who is 33 now, I have to be careful. And a lot of my concealers are genuinely making me start to look older. Even ones that were like holy grails. Because I have these really deep set lines now from all that stress. <laughs> I'm just going to set this with my normal setting powder. My uh, Can't Stop Won't Stop. And then I'll come back. I just did my brows, uh, eyeliner and mascara. And uh, set my under eye. Before I move on to face products, I just forgot to mention the Beauty Pie Shadow Stick. I got, I don't know what fucking shade this is. But it's quite a dark shade, gray brown neutral shade. I like to use this as like a quick base for eyeshadow or like if I'm just throw anything on or because it's an eyeshadow stick, you can also use it as an eyeliner, which I've just done here. Really good, really creamy, blends really nicely. Like I said, Beauty Pie has some really good, really good products. Uh, I also put on, I forgot to mention the silver on my inner corner here. So I was really excited because I saw again, what I thought was a dupe for another Charlotte Tilbury product. Uh, this is the Beauty Pie uh, Quick Color Contour Super Gel. Because look, it looks very similar, right? And loads of people have got this now. It's even got the little clicky thing. This is the shade. Now for me, personally, this is a bronzer. Like a cream bronzer it is not a contour shade. This is too warm. Like it's a nice color, it's just, that's not a contour shade for me. A contour shade, this is like my one that I'm using at the moment. This is by Giorgio Armani. That is a contour shade. You can see this one's more pinky and more warm tone to the gray neutral of this one. I'll blend this out a little bit. So that's what I look for in a contour. So I'm gonna throw this on. So, product super disappointment. Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> I've been wanting to grab this bronzer for such a long time. This is one of the powder bronzers. I've heard mixed reviews about the cream ones too. And this is in the shade Fair Pale. Now I thought because I'm quite fair, this would be a good shade. Now, I don't know if it's because of the brush I was using before, so I'm gonna try this one. It's a little bit more fluffy, but it's also a bit more compact. Oh, it's super, super dusty too. Like, I don't know how well you can, see, you probably can't see it, but it, there's a lot of kick up. Is this like an invisible bronzer? The problem is, this is such a big pan, so it all lasted a really long time. The packaging is absolutely stunning. I 100% bought this as a collector for the packaging, but this is expensive. But like, it's not a bad price for how big the pan size is. Oh my God, it is just friggin' invisible. Like, 
there's a tiny bit of colour. But I feel like this is so similar to when I used the uh, Patrick Tar bronzer. Friggin' invisible on my skin. And I don't know if that's because of the colour, if it's just because of the pigmentation. Oh yeah, it moves in the pan as well. Like every time I go to swatch it. So this is me swatching it on my hand. Can you see anything? Like there's just the tiniest, tiniest faint bit of colour. For a bronzer, that is like nothing. So instead, I'm gonna top it up with my new Holy Grail bronzer. This is by Beauty Pie. This is, I've used this so many times. There used to be like a, there used to be like palm trees and stuff all over this. It's so good. I like Beauty Pie as well because you can, rather than getting the whole compact again, you can just get the insert. Okay, look how much more colour immediately. Ever since I bought this, I haven't put it down. I've used one other bronzer once and then gone back to this. I absolutely adore this. Never hear anyone talk about it. It's a really nice colour. It has a really nice sheen to it, so you look more like youthful. Oh, it's so pretty. Like gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I love it. I would 100% go with this over this. Okay, highlighter. I do have a Beauty Pie highlighter, but it is a little bit yellow. And also this is like universal apparently, like this is not a universal shade. It's like a yellowy, yellowy kind of champagne shade. It's okay, it's not great, it's not terrible, but it's just not my favorite. And considering I have found another highlighter, which is so much more affordable. This is the e.l.f. Jelly Highlighter, which is 100% a dupe for like the Stila Jelly Kitten. Like it's super jelly. -y. I don't know if this is gonna dry out, but I will say it dries down really quickly. It's like liquid metal. It looks kind of like the Pat McGrath highlighter that's holy grail for me. So let me put this on. I always put it on with a finger. Honestly, you only need one dip and I kind of went in way too much. And I'm gonna kind of use a dry finger with no product to kind of blend it. Look how stunning. Again. No one talks about this. I'm really trying not to go overboard because it's so easy. So the last thing face I want to talk about again is another beauty pie product. This is a like cream to powder blush. This is in Perfect Nude. It's so pretty. So I'm just gonna kind of again place and blend with my finger. It blends in so nicely. I don't use this that much just because uh, I think you guys probably know I'm such a powder foundation sort of girl. Putting cream product over powder obviously is not great. If I'm using like a liquid, I would use this a lot because it is so stunning. Perfection. Okay, so I talked about the lip gloss by Beauty Pie. I also just wanted to mention their lipstick. I bought one shade. The only thing is because this is like a one of those refillable ones, I do have this issue where it, it kind of doesn't always stick, but this is a shade, it's really nice. I'm trying to twist this back down, and the thing wanted to come out. So I just want to show you this shade. It's a very natural shade. It honestly, if you put a lip liner underneath, it kind of blends into almost nothing. That's the only thing, like, but it is super nice and comfortable. So the other thing I got was a couple of Natasha Denona lip liners and a lipstick. So I got two of her lip crayons. I got uh, the shade Michelle and the shade Dana. Michelle is actually would go really nice with that Beauty Pie one because it's a peachy shade. Dana, which I'm gonna to use today, is a lot more cool tone. It's actually quite a deep shade. It's so creamy. Hi sweetie. Honestly, I don't think these would be very long wearing because they're so emollient, but they are so comfortable. You can see this, it's a much, much cooler shade. And then for the lipstick, I got, hi sweetie, I got the I Need A Nude Lipstick in Sammy. Again, super dark. Again, super emollient, gorgeous, cool tone, deep lipstick for anyone, honestly, with dark skin as well. I think I would really like this. So this is my full face of like recent makeup. Honestly, I don't think you would know that it's a mixture of high-end and luxury, affordable. But yeah, so that's everything I've bought and tried recently from multiple different brands. If you like this kind of video, make sure to give this a like and subscribe if you like it. You know, when I do find products that I am so in love with, I do kind of want to share them because like I said, things like this foundation, nobody talks about. This bronzer nobody talks about. I haven't even really heard anyone talk about these lipsticks and I'm in love with this shade. I grab for this shade a lot. And that says something for a bullet lipstick. And like I said, this concealer, if you are someone in your 30s or like late 30s especially, 
Try out this concealer, honestly. I know it's expensive. If you're struggling with ones that sort of like go into your deep lines. Oh, oh my God, a product I completely forgot to mention. Just really, 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 really quick. This Stila, uh Stale Day Mascara. Oh my God. Look how much is on this wand. It is caked in the stuff. Also, this stopper keeps coming out and the brush is really weird because it's got like a normal standard brush on one side and then really thin, really, really tiny spiky bits here. It's really hard to coat your lashes in this. I thought I'd try it because I was like, oh, it's a, like high-end mascara that's like half price. I'm going to try it out. Don't waste your money. Don't even waste £10. <laughs> it wasn't worth it whatsoever. So if you like this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe if you like it. I'd really appreciate it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.